what's up guys indian sensei here welcome to another episode of ninja voltage and in this video we are gonna look at all the fortress rare fortresses in the team battle to get these kunais and i will be doing solo uh, for all the fortresses like fortress 1 fortress 2 and fortress 3 and during that i will also tell you guys how to uh, complete all the fortresses as soon as possible with highest efficiency so yeah and also uh, guys one more thing that uh, I am I am gonna be out of station for a couple of days like 4-5 days so I won't be able to post the SAM video as soon as possible because uh, I think 27th team battle will end and 20th, 27th after the maintenance SAM will arrive so I will be at uh, other, another location so I don't I won't be having I think internet connection there so it it's going to be difficult for me to upload the video on the same day so but i will try to upload it on the next day as soon as possible so yeah sorry for the inconvenience also uh, after this video i'm gonna talk about the new leaks of so6p six path uh, naruto ultimate from sam so stay tuned for that after this video uh, i mean after we complete all the rare fortresses so yeah let's jump into the rare fortresses and see so guys we have fortress 1 with us and this is the same as montgomery from the previous team battles and uh, this is a very easy i mean very very easy mission and you get only like frogs from here no kunais so uh, there is no need to be like super attentive you can also complete this in auto uh, I will be completing the whole mission just to show you guys but you can just gate crash after killing one of the enemy mostly just go straight through here I mean don't go right just go straight and defeat the other up and you can just gate crash and kill the enemies over there because the enemies are not that powerful and you can easily survive just make sure you have enough HP so that you don't die after gate crashing because uh, with uh, one uh, enemy kill the gate would uh, consume like 19,000 HP if you gate crash after killing only one enemy so yeah make sure to have enough HP so that you survive after the gate crash uh, besides that there is no need to be serious just play normally and you are good to go so yeah enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you again with Fortress 2 So guys we have fortress 2 with us here and this is the same as Zephaniah from the previous team battles and it has a chance of getting a tool from here uh, I mean like 20% chance but what you need to do especially in fortress 2 is com add, complete all the floors kill everyone and destroy everything uh, don't get let anything slide I mean walls like and walls and everything and the snake statues and everything just destroy everything in every room so that you have the highest amount of chance to get the tool from fortress 2 and besides that it is very easy i mean it is not at all difficult you just have to clear everything possible in this room try to find uh, walls like this and uh, do a full circle of a room once you uh, complete it so that you can find missing walls and stuff so that you can destroy them uh, just keep in mind to destroy everything yeah and besides that there is nothing to worry about it's very easy uh, I mean same as Montgomery not at all difficult so yeah so just don't gate crash in this one just try to clear everything 
in all rooms and then enter the final room and it is very easy to defeat the final room characters so yeah so this was for fortress 2 i will see you in fortress 3 again enjoy the rest of the video So guys we have Fortress 3 with us and this is the special stage from previous team battle and this is a guaranteed tool stage I mean it doesn't matter if you kill everyone or not you are gonna get tool if you win this fortress so the most important thing to do in this fortress is uh, at least kill two of the enemies and before gate crashing and you have to gate crash in that because if you are doing solo uh, then you will have a lot less time uh, before entering into the final room but if you are with team then you don't have to worry about uh, I mean uh, not killing everyone but if you are doing solo you will have to gate crash like me so uh, just try to kill any of the two characters doesn't matter who uh, in the left we have I think as who do we have here in the left I forgot uh, Let's see. Yeah, Kakuzu. Yeah, sorry. So in the left we have Kakuzu. So he has actually high, very high defense in this stage. So he does not die, doesn't die that easily as compared to other fortresses. All all the characters in this fortress tree are highly stats. I mean, have high stats, just like your normal fortress. So be attentive and try not to die because if you die then you lose the chance of getting an ultimate so make sure to take a good character with you so that you can have good attack power as well as good HP and defense so I'm gonna kill uh, Kakuzu here and I will try to kill two more guys so here we have Hidan uh, Hidan has the new ultimate which makes him invincible for 10 seconds after he uses the ultimate so that's a time consuming thing so yeah you have to look for that uh, if you have a good shinobi if you are using a good shinobi then you can just kill him very easily but I am using KLM here so it's get a pretty difficult I mean a little bit difficult for uh, him to kill the enemies as compared to other shinobi so yeah I will just kill Hidan here and he is uh, invincible as of now but now I will kill him and move up to the next room so I have enough time so that's why I am killing the third character if you don't have enough time on your hands like 70 seconds then you just have to gate crash by killing only two shinobis so in the third room I think we have Kisame with us and Kisame is not that uh, great to be worry about but you will have to be still be careful because he has like high defense every shinobi in this fortress has high defense so you will have to look out for that just try to be attentive uh, these this fortress is not as easy as fortress 1 or fortress 2 so you just have to be careful time your iframes so that you don't die easily and that's it so Kisame is dead and it's now time to great cash and it's 60 seconds left probably 50 seconds uh, when I enter the room so I am just boosting my attack power and getting a heal and gate crashing I will make sure to roar so that I have the critical high and then I will use the ultimate so that it has the highest impact on the enemies so I think I covered everyone okay Conan and Itachi are still alive so I still have 30 seconds left and Itachi has very low HP and he already used his ultimate so I don't have to worry about anything I'm just 
You wanna kill him slowly? Yeah. So yeah, Fortress 3 is a little bit tough as compared to Fortress 1 and Fortress 2 but not impossible. So you guys just saw. So I think I will get uh, one kunai. I mean that is guaranteed. So Annihilation kunai. That's great. So yeah. So guys according to the leagues uh, we are gonna have uh, this ultimate for 6 path and we got this from scan uh, from the leagues so I was able to translate it uh, using google lens so uh, it will be like uh, it is not I mean it is not accurate but it says that there is going to be a 5 star uh, card of, as ranking bonus ranking system card and it's going to be of uh, six path naruto so yeah and also uh, according to the move sets in ninja voltage sorry ninja storm 4 uh, it's going to look like this uh, he probably will have some kind of rasengan in his hand and with the kurama hand he will push it towards the enemy i'm not sure about the range in ninja storm 4 it's look really uh, good i mean but you know that in ninja voltage the range is not the same as it is shown in ninja storm 4 so uh, we will know when it arrives but looks cool though uh, and also we are gonna have one more 4 star for 6 path naruto and according to the leaks it's going to be some kind of trap activating jutsu so that is gonna make him a good very good main i mean for team as well for solo as well as for team so what he lacks right now is a 60 second ultimate and as well as if he gets a trap uh, activation jutsu then it's going to be awesome so yeah so that these were the leaks so let's look at the one more time the uh, ultimate jutsu so as you can see yeah, he makes some kind of rasengan and push it pushes the Russian gun towards the enemy with the Kurama hand looks cool so yeah uh, I'm uh, very excited for Sam because I have both the units SO6P as well as uh, Rene Zaske so we will see who will do the most damage so yeah and also there I think there is going to be a third character as well besides these two so we will have to see for that so yeah Guys, that's, this was the video and I hope you guys like the video and I will try to upload the Sam video as soon as possible but until then, sayonara.